Okay, we're going to use our uh, magic wand tool because sometimes you're in a situation where you want to get something off of the background. Okay, so you have to really think about it and analyze the best way to do it and the best tool to use. So you would start out with going in close. This is on a locked background, what we have here. It's on a locked background. And you can see here that it's a kind of an anti-alias. So you would put your tolerance low, maybe about a four. And you don't need your contiguous on because you want to get it from the background. Here, you can add this to it. And you can kind of look around, see what you selected. OK, you see you've got that whole edge there. And we'll move here to the side, and we'll get our navigator. And we, we have our background selected, so we really don't want to select cut, because nothing will happen. We want to invert this, and we want to cut. And you see there's no edge there, and paste. So we actually have, we did pretty good here. We took it off of the background, and we strategized how we were going to do it. Now I'm going to put this back onto the background. I flattened it, and I'm going to do it the way I sometimes see the students do it. They take their magic wand, they have their anti-alias on, they don't even think about their tolerance, they don't even think about their contig contiguous, and maybe, they, maybe their anti-alias is on the default of 32. And they select it, and maybe they invert it, they think to invert it, and they do cut, and you see you get this line, and a large part of your image is left on your paper. You don't want to do that. That's very messy that way, and you don't want to do that. So I will say a step backward, and I'll do deselect, and I will hit my magic wand, put my tolerance down to maybe about five or six, take off my anti-alias, select the background, and invert it, and cut it. And you see it's clear white, none of your image is left on there. And then paste it, and then you can throw your background out if you want your um, image to be uh, transparent. Now if I want to separate these two figures, I would use this polygonal lasso tool, see? And I would cut here, and then I would select Cut, and I would select Paste, and I can make my canvas larger on the right side. Right now it's uh, fi almost 5 inches wide. I can make it 8 inches wide on one side like that. And I can take this image right here and I can duplicate it. Pull it here. And I'm going to hit the transform tools and I want to make this smaller but I want it to be smaller in proportion because I don't want it to be like this or I don't want it to be like this. I want it to be in proportion so I hit the link here. And if I hit the link, if I put 75 on the width, 75 will come on the height here. And then I can either hit my enter or hit the check mark and then I can make another one, duplicate, move it to the side, click on here on the corner, and when I click on the corner the transform tool option bar opens and I have the link on. I can do another 75 and it comes on the height and the width and hit my enter key and then take off my my transform tools and I can move them and adjust them here. And I can make a new layout using my transform tools and I took it off the background. I can put a new background on, a new layer, and I can drop in 
a new background and if I want I can put um, some colors on the background from black to white I can use a gradient tool these are the different styles of the gradient right here and this will be this one is white to black if I want the linear I can have a linear gradient like this or I can hit undo go backwards I can put some colors on the gradient or sometimes I put uh, a separate layer just with the gradient because if I do that I'll show you if I do that I can go in here to the fill and I can lighten it and I can modify the gradient over here so that's one way of showing you a little bit how to use the gradient tools and just introducing you to the gradient tools and the transform tools and how to use the magic wand to get your image off the background without leaving a line, a messy line around your image.